Hello everyone, Santin Doc 2, and welcome to another mock deck overview, this time on Quirky Generators, a mod that was inspired by uni crops in a way, but adds two generators at the moment, a fully grown plants related one and a gravity focused one. Uh, from testing, uh, as long as you have any that work on farmland, so ones such as cactus, sugarcane, netherwort, and trees don't work for this. Uh, but as long as you have ones that have seeds, um, they will work. Now, obviously, we're counting carrots and potatoes in this. Um, I didn't have any luck with pumpkins and melons, though. But all you want to do is just have seeds there. You want to fully grow it, and then it'll output 40,000. No matter what, doesn't matter which crop I've come across, it's just worked for any that have seeds. Uh, other than that though, we have the gravity one, which will actually show you the rest of these things so I don't forget. So iron, hay bale, redstone, stone, and then gravel instead of the hay bale for the gravity one. Uh, for the gravity one, you pretty much just place it and it'll obviously output a certain amount depending on the height. Uh, it doesn't matter on which block. Try even one out. Uh, the height obviously determines how much can be applied. And yeah, obviously it'll output to certain other blocks. So I've got it output into this battery here. If I do so now, go over to the furnace. Uh, obviously you do need it so that the crops are above the actual generator. I don't th think it looks below, but we'll try. And um, let's see, farmland. Emulates and no, so nothing. So only impacts will happen from above, not from the sides. You can tell from the gravity generator every time. I'll try to activate it, I guess. Other than that, um, let's see. I'm going to move that to the two um, By default, you've got it so that the energy per tick is obviously 200, and the energy capacity is 1 million. And the same applies to obviously the root generator. Uh, the only other thing obviously that you can apply to the root generator that isn't for the gravity is the ticks per operation. So you'll want to change that um, for the actual amount of time it'll be before it most likely updates and um, you know notices say the wheat that's fully grown will then disappear and then convert into energy. I happen to change that. Again, I'll go below just because why not? And it should take a bit longer to actually convert it, as you can see. Just bit. Interesting, actually. So it's actually outputting still the same amount that it typically would when it's sitting there but you'll get more power out of it having a longer tick rate rather than it just disappearing straight away, I assume. And I'm assuming it's not just going to give you 40,000 immediately. Interesting, I should try that with a blank one. So we've got that there. So we'll try it with wheat seeds, and we'll have this go for as long as it can. Uh, I'm assuming it's still going to output 40,000, but for some reason for that first one it just didn't seem to. No, okay, it outputs a lot more than usual. Interesting. Uh, not too sure of that then, because it didn't change anything other than the tick operation, so I'm not too sure on that. For whatever reason? 
Unless that's just supposed to reflect power, which I didn't think it did. Strange. And I did save it so that it didn't change. Okay then. Uh, not too sure on that one. So that's possible, it seems. Um, so I should change that to uh, 1000. Actually, we'll do 500 for that. And let's see. This is just bugged, I guess. I'm not too sure. So it just seems like it's infinitely going now for whatever reason. Um, well, it just was a higher number than expected. But yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.